Today's flight is from Las Vegas to London with Virgin Atlantic in upper class on the VS8. As a result of the redevelopment of Terminal 3, Virgin has temporarily relocated from Terminal 2 to the Tom Bradley International Terminal. The check-in process took a few minutes using a dedicated business class desk. Upper class passengers can use the Star Alliance lounge located on level 6 after security. The lounge has a balcony overlooking the main terminal concourse. A selection of drinks and snacks were on offer. The flight departed from gate 133, which was a five minute walk from the lounge. The aircraft was a three year old Boeing 7879, registration GVNYL, called Penny Lane. Upper class passengers were invited to board first. The cabin had 31 suites in a 1-1-1 configuration. I was in seat 10K on the busier aisle as the middle seats all faced to the right hand side. As I settled in, I was offered a glass of champagne. An amenity kit was provided along with some spare face masks. A comfortable sleep suit was also offered for the night flight. Next to the seat there was an international power socket and below the entertainment screen, there was a USB port. Hello there. We're delighted to welcome you on board Virgin Atlantic. Thank you for flying with us today. You're no doubt keen to lose yourself in our dazzling world of entertainment. But first we're going to show you a safety film, and we'd like you to give it your full attention. We pushed back a few minutes behind schedule to take off from runway 24L. Let me know what you think of the video. Leave a like, subscribe and comment below.
The flight was scheduled to take 10 hours and 20 minutes. Shortly after takeoff, the drinks trolley came around. I had a Bombay Sapphire Gin and Tonic, which came with a packet of snacks. The Dreamliners feature dimmable windows. A full meal service was offered alongside an express supper. The express supper consisted of a tomato soup and grilled cheese sandwich. I opted for the full meal and started with crab. Followed by the ticker spiced salmon, and finished with the cheese and biscuits. At the rear of the cabin were two bathrooms. These were spacious with a changing seat next to the toilet. A range of movies and TV series were available on the in-flight entertainment system. Noise cancelling headphones were also provided. The seat flipped forward to form a fully flat bed with bedding provided. About two hours prior to landing, breakfast started to be served. I opted for the full English breakfast which came with some fresh fruit and a chocolate croissant. The flight approached from the north, turning over central London to approach Heathrow. There were some good views over the city and West End. The flight landed on the southern runway 27L, about 20 minutes ahead of schedule.